Old Miss at LSU. LSU minus two. This over under has moved all around. I've seen 68, 65-ish, whatever. I mean, it's all around, guys. Um, we got a new sp uh, Caesar Sportsbook promo for us here on the Power Hour. Up to $1,250 risk-free on your first bet. All you got to do is use the promo code MORNINGFUL. That'll that'll get you right there. Save Get you into $1,250. Tech, use the link in the description of the video. You click on it. Boom, ping, pow. Get you right signed up. Don't forget, text your full name. I gotta bring this up again. 614-810-7522. You text your full name. Don't be texting I'm Bob. Text who Bob who. Okay, because we got a thousand Bobs. Text your full name, two free picks weekly from multiple handicappers. You'll get two. You okay? And it's all the time. It's forever. Craig Trap just giving stuff away. It's Christmas in October. Uh <laughs> what's up, my man? Yeah, I mean, this SEC matchup is I mean, not often do we see an undefeated team. Uh-oh, I got a sneeze coming on. What does that oh, mean when you got a sneeze coming on? Someone's thinking of you or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we not often you see an undefeated team like Ole Miss as an underdog. And I know road in the SEC is very tough place. And I don't care what the records are. When you go on the road in the SEC, it is extremely hard. But this LSU team is just – they won at Florida last week, so I think a lot of people give them a lot of credit. It's like – do I not remember the week before when Tennessee did whatever they wanted? And that's not a I great Tennessee right. defense, and they couldn't score on Tennessee defense. Do you not remember uh, when they – you know, I don't think that Florida State team's very good, lost early in the year. I, I mean, to me, I think they're just getting way too much credit here. And this is a public underdog, though. So I, that's a little worrisome. That usually doesn't end well. Um, Ole Miss being undefeated is what would you call a public underdog. But I still think you take Ole Miss money line or plus two. I just think Ole Miss is the better team. I mean, they're better offensively for sure. I agree. That is like, without a doubt, you know, like you just, this offense is built to score points. But the defense is much better. I mean, they, were, if they should have lost that Kentucky game. But that defense stepped up, <laughs> got two late turnovers, and won that game. That Kentucky team is really good. I know that was a home yeah. Ole Miss. I still think at, De or at Death Valley, I still think they get it done. I'm going to take an Ole Miss. I know it's a public favorite. You don't have to tell us that, but I'm on it anyway. Well, the public can't be wrong all the time. I argue no, with Nick and Tim no. Earl all the time about this when they say, oh, you're playing a public – that's a public play. Well, they're not wrong all the time. Otherwise – No, no, no. You no know, see, so I, right. I like this. I like this old Miss play. I don't um, – I think they're I, the I better team the over, and they get it done. I also think the over is not a bad play in this one. I mean, I Ole Miss I just – I love the over. They, they, uh, I mean, Ole Miss just scores so easy. And, and, you know, Brian Kelly, he likes to throw the ball around. So that always mm -hmm. is positive too. That's fair. Uh, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Power hours here Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern, as always.